One step forward in getting back in the air for Boeing. This morning, the troubled 737 MAX jet flew over Washington on a test flight with the head of the FAA at the controls. But at the same time, Boeing is poised to deliver a devastating blow to our state's economy. The Wall Street Journal is reporting production of the 787 Dreamliner is expected to move from Everett to South Carolina. Welcome to King 5 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Mark Wright. I'm Joyce Taylor. The Dreamliner has been made in Snohomish County for more than a decade. While Boeing has not made an official announcement, which could come as early as tomorrow, stress levels are going up, and not just in Everett, but across the state of Washington. We have team coverage for you tonight. Could state lawmakers offer Boeing another deal to stay here? Drew Mickelson spoke to many of them today to find out. But first, Kayla Lafferty joins us live in Everett, the community that will, of course, be hit the hardest by this decision. So, Kayla, tell us how this could impact people working there. Well, many of the residents and city officials we talked to today worry not only about layoffs at Boeing, but also how this could impact the local economy, businesses in the supply chain, as well as restaurants and retail in the city of Everett. Community members are reeling at the possibility of Boeing moving 787 production from Everett to South Carolina. As citizens of Everett and citizens of Washington and our county, we need stability. And if you're not willing to give us stability, then we don't need you here. Alonzo Rakeem Smalls works in Everett. He says COVID-19 was a blow to his community, and he's angry that Boeing could add fuel to the fire by taking more jobs from the workforce, while so many are already struggling. We need people who's willing to, to give us the opportunity to work and feed our families. And if you're not willing to give us that, then yeah, sure, go to South Carolina. With around 35,000 employees, Boeing is the largest employer in Everett. This is um, very difficult news to, to try to digest. And Mayor Cassie Franklin says Boeing has not confirmed to her if the move is official just yet, but the thought of the ripple effect it could have on the local economy is worrisome. Whether it is uh, grocery stores, restaurants, car dealers, any industry here is impacted by Boeing. The loss would be uh, would really hurt our city and our and our families. Um, but we are strong and, and resilient and we will we will get through it. According to Smalls, Boeing shouldn't dictate the successfulness of his city. He hopes his community can rally and overcome. Whatever Boeing does is what Boeing is going to do. And what we have to do as a community is stick together and move forward. Now, Boeing has not made an official announcement on if the news is true or not. And the unions representing these Boeing employees told King 5 today that they're not buying it till they get that official announcement. Live in Everett, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News. Kayla, thank you. Well, Dreamliner production started in Everett back in 2007, but about 30,000 employees work at that plant. Not all of them work on the Dreamliner. Boeing moved some production of the 787 to South Carolina back in 2012. 7,000 people work there. The massive building in Everett will not be completely quiet if 787 production moves across the country. The 747, the 777, the 767 are still built there. All of the 737 MAX jets are made in Renton. Through major tax breaks, the state of Washington has done plenty to make Boeing happy here and to attract and retain projects. But could another sweet deal be in the works? South Bureau Chief Drew Mickelson is live at the state capitol. So, Drew, can the state do anything at this point to keep the Dreamliner production here? Well, Mark, it does not sound like the state can or will do anything. Not a lot of optimism, not a lot of positive or kind words coming out of the governor's office today. Governor Jay Inslee said that Boeing would be, quote, turning its back on the state if this happened after a long history of support from state lawmakers. The 77 will be built right here in Puget Sound. <laughs> Washington state tax breaks in 2003 helped bring the then 7E7 production to Everett. Some say that's what the E stood for. So with this, I'm sending tw signing 2088. To and then 10 years later, those tax breaks were extended to sweeten the pot again for Boeing to build its 777X in Washington. Right. But despite saving billions, Boeing executives, citing union strikes in Washington, moved some Dreamliner assembly to South Carolina in 2009. And now the Wall Street Journal reports all of the work currently being done in Everett could move to South Carolina. In a written statement, Governor Jay Inslee said, quote, Boeing would be turning its back on the finest workers in the best place in the world to build airplanes. He went on to note the state's repeated support, adding, quote, if this report is true, 
it would force a review of that partnership, including a hard look at the company's favorable tax treatment. Can the state do anything to keep Boeing from moving the Dreamliner to South Carolina? We all know that this is just an unbelievably uh, difficult time for aviation. This is a response to a global pandemic that is of biblical proportion. State Senator Reuben Carlisle worked on the 2013 tax break extension. He says the potential move would be devastating to the state and the state needs to continue to work with Boeing to protect other projects that play a large role in the state's economy. Carlisle views the move to South Carolina as a business decision and not a ploy to get a new tax break from the state. This is not about some uh, tax bill or incentive package. This is about a responsible long-term commitment to the workforce, a long-term uh, commitment to the company and the relationship with Washington State. And I think it, it will weather this extraordinarily difficult time. I also spoke with the Republican candidate for governor, Lauren Culp. He said this would be, quote, bad news if it happens. And he says this is definitely a direct result of the governor's tax policies and regulations. He says uh, he considers this an unfriendly state towards business under an Inslee administration. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News. Drew, thank you. So Washington lawmakers are weighing in on Boeing's potential move. They don't like it. Senator Maria Cantwell tweeted this, Puget Sound has 100 years of aviation manufacturing history. Its workers' skill set, experience, and capabilities should not be undervalued by anyone, especially the Boeing company. Congressman Rick Larson tweeting this, Boeing's decision to pull its 787 production out of Washington state is short-sighted and misplaced. As the economy comes back and air travel returns, I will fight to bring 787 production back to Everett. A test flight this morning for the 737 MAX. Coming up in less than 10 minutes right here, Boeing's future could all depend on getting that troubled jet back in the air.